not every disturbing dream is a bad dream. Some disturbing dreams are warning dreams, right? Some disturbing dreams are, let me give an example of a warning dream. So Abimelech in the book of Genesis chapter 20, um, Abimelech was warned that the woman that you're sleeping with or that you want to sleep with is a married woman. So you are but a dead man, okay? So that was a, a warning dream for Abimelech and he he took that to heart and he acted accordingly, all right? Another example is Pilate's wife, okay? So Pilate is about to question Jesus, find out why they are wanting to kill Jesus and his wife has a disturbing dream. She says, I had a nightmare. And this dream was to warn her husband and her that the man they were about to crucify was but innocent. And so Pilate's wife tells him, listen, wash your hands of this man. He is innocent. That was a warning dream and revelatory. So it revealed the truth. And the truth was this. You're not sure whether he's innocent or not, but I'm telling you that he is innocent because my dream revealed his innocence to me. So wash your hands off of this man's blood, right? That was a disturbing dream, but it was revelation of truth. It revealed the truth to not only Pilate, but his wife who delivered it. And so as a wife, she did well by going and warning her husband, listen, husband, you're about to do your job, but make sure with this particular case, do not judge it the way you want or think to judge it. The people that are speaking to you are lying and scheming. He is innocent, all right? That was a disturbing dream. It was, a, some version says nightmare, but it was needed for them to make the right decision, for Pilate to make the right decision that way his household, his wife, would not um, face the consequences of sentencing an innocent man to death. Another example I can give you is Peter. Peter has a vision. He is hungry, goes into a trance, has a vision. And a white sheet comes down from heaven. And on top of the white sheet are different creatures that were deemed unclean in the book of Leviticus chapter 11, right? So up until that point, these animals were deemed unclean to eat. But the instructions in that vision is kill and eat Peter. And he's like, oh no, I can't do that. I cannot eat that. It is unclean. My lips have not taken in anything that is unclean. So I will not start today. The vision stops and then he gets it one more time. Like it happens three times. The sheet comes down from heaven again at the four corners what sheet with the different animals in there and these animals can be seen in leviticus 11 where god instructed them not to eat this not to eat that not to eat this and so they knew these mosaic laws they knew the dietary laws and so peter is perturbed he is disturbed by this vision that comes three times telling him to kill and eat and he's like i cannot eat something unclean i cannot eat that but this was God instructing him, showing him, revealing to him that the time has come for the Gentiles to receive the gospel. Yes, before this time, you as a Jewish man would not go into a home of a Gentile to talk to him, to commune with him, to eat with him. They were considered unclean, but I've heard the prayers the fasting and the giving of Cornelius. So when Peter woke up, when he came out of that vision, that trance, he was disturbed by that vision. But before he could collect himself and think about it and meditate upon that, there were men at the door asking for him. And Holy Spirit told him to go with the men, right? Holy Spirit did not immediately give him the inter interpretation of that dream. But as Peter walked in obedience to the instructions of the Holy Spirit, he went with the three men that came for him. He got to Cornelius' house. And there is when he actually got the revelation and the understanding of what the vision meant of the unclean animals upon the white sheet that came 
down from heaven in a trance and a dream and a vision okay so sometimes the understanding of your dream does not come or even a vision does not come until you walk in obedience to what god tells you to do holy spirit says do x y and z do x y and z and as you're walking in obedience right walking by faith not by sight the revelation and the understanding unfolds for you peter did not get the entire revelation or understand what he was what he had seen until he got to the house of cornelius and then you realize wow i'm entering a gentile's house this is what my dream meant and then when he speaks to them when he speaks to cornelius and says why have you sent for me cornelius says listen i had a vision of an angel and he told me call for peter and peter says wow i had a vision too and so it all came together why he was walking by faith he was following the prompts of the holy spirit and even though he walked he woke up disturbed that vision was showing something revealing a new understanding that had not been there previously it was that vision was opening up the door for the gentiles to finally receive the gospel which was not previously something that was happening because before the apostles and the disciples were going to all the different areas of asia of macedonia whatever and they were going to the synagogues they were preaching to the jews in the different areas but after peter had that vision now the gentiles could receive the gospel cornelius was the first person to receive the gospel as a gentile amen so if you have a dream or a vision that seems disturbing, ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to you what is trying to show you. Lord, give me understanding. Holy Spirit, according to Isaiah 11 verse 2, Holy Spirit is a spirit of wisdom, understanding, knowledge, might, counsel, reverence of the Lord, and holiness. So ask, Lord, illuminate my dreams so I can understand them may the word of god enter my dreams and bring light right the bible says in psalms 119 verse 130 the entrance of his word brings light it brings understanding to the simple lord illuminate my dreams give me understanding give me knowledge to understand what you're trying to show me is it a previous covenant was made by my ancestors i have to break out of by confessing their sins and he'll show you he is a good, good father. All right? God bless.